Democratic Senator Evan Bayh is calling on President Obama to veto the massive spending bill. He's one of three Democrats, only three Democrats, who actually crossed party lines to oppose the bill. Senator Bayh joins us now. Senator, why did you break with your fellow Democrats and vote against the spending bill? A couple of reasons, Anderson. Uh, first, it increases spending about four times the rate of inflation at a time when the deficit is out of control and our national debt is skyrocketing. So I just think fiscally it's irresponsible. Secondly, as you know, there were more than 5,000 earmarks, uh, special uh, appropriations in this bill. At a time when ordinary families are cutting back, small businesses are struggling to make ends meet, it just sends a message that Congress is just out of touch and oblivious to the concerns of ordinary people. And I think that's just deeply wrong, and it feeds into the cynicism that many people feel about Washington these days. Uh, I want to play something that President Obama said about earmarks last March. Let's, let's watch. I believe as we move forward, we can come together around principles that prevent the abuse of earmarks. Now, these principles begin with a simple concept. Earmarks must have a legitimate and worthy public purpose. So are there specific earmarks in this bill that you believe do not, as the president said, have a legitimate and, and, and worthy purpose? I haven't been able to scrutinize all 5,000 of them, uh, Anderson. Uh, there were a couple of them I saw that I kind of chuckled about, although it's not entirely a laughing matter. But the principle is that at a time when we're hemorrhaging red ink, can we really afford this kind of thing? And at a time when ordinary people are having to cut back, shouldn't Congress uh, exert a little restraint? So the problem here is not the president. Uh, I think he wants to do the right thing. The problem is that Congress needs to be restrained, and if it can't restrain itself, well, then somebody has to, and well, that the, tends to be the executive branch. The White House is saying, well, look, the, you know, earmarks are down 15 percent from what they were uh, in the last bill. Well, it's true they're only $4 billion, but you know what? Even in Washington, $4 billion is still real money, and I suspect for your viewers at home, Anderson, it's, it's the principle of the thing. We're, we've got a, a, a deficit in the trillions of dollars. They're asking us to raise the, the debt ceiling by $2 trillion. And at a time when ordinary people are having to make hard decisions about what they can afford and not afford, maybe not do the little extra thing this Christmas, members of Congress are still insisting on, upon getting their little special projects. It's just not right at this moment in time. Senator Bayer, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.